I wanted to show off my latest purchase. It's a new tackle box by Flambeau. What I like about it is its simplicity, upper compartment here, and on the inside, three tiers of places to put your lures. They do make two other versions. There's a green version, which I think is their low end and only has one tier. And there's a blue version that has two tiers. But I wanted the three tiers so I can use this as a uh, storage for all my fishing toys. It comes with these dividers. Cut them off this template and slide them into these compartments. That's what the logo looks like. Made in the USA. Let me organize my tackle box and I'll show you what it looks like later. I feel like pan fishing today, but I want to try something a little different. I'm going to bring my cat. No, my cat's not going to go fishing with me, but he's going to help me choose which lure to use today. But here are five that end up at the bottom of my tackle box. I feel bad because some of them just collect dust. They're just not being used. This is a crankbait by Begley. Here's a rusty spoon, and here it's a Rapala. I believe it goes about two, three feet deep. I don't use it that much because it's very light and it's a little hard to cast in the wind, but I'll try that one. Here is a Meps spinner, which is usually meant more for trout, but I think the flash and the spinner will attract some panfish. And lastly, one I didn't even open yet, Johnson Beetle Spin. So these are the five. Let's see which one my cat chooses. I safely put my lures in boxes so that the cat doesn't get hurt. Nice and far apart enough so that we know which one he chooses most distinctly. Which one are you going to choose? <laughs> Pepper chose Begley. And Mochi chose the spinner bay. You definitely didn't want me to try the rusty spoon, did you? Okay, so the first one I'm gonna use, first lure I'm gonna use is the Begley. If I don't catch any fish with the Begley, I'm gonna use the Meps spinner bay. Okay, thanks for choosing guys. Okay, I'm gonna put on this bigly small crankbait and see if we can catch something. Come on, bigly. Oh, got a bite. Got a bite. Second cast. Ah, oh, but the fish was too small. Couldn't get on the treble hook. But that's a good sign. Though. Something went for it. I caught something. Don't, don't jump. Ah. These guys are sharp. These guys are sharp. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. He's not a good one, but he got his mouth just around it to be hooked. But then he fell off right in the boat. big enough to chomp on this. Nice! He got j around just one of the hooks. Such a small mouth. And he got it. There you go. Got my second fish here. Nice! You just have to get the bluegill just right. Got something. Is it on there? Yeah, it's on there still. Oh! What is it? What is it? Ooh! Oh, foul hooked. <laughs> I don't know if that counts, but I'll take it. <laughs> that is a nice size. Um, don't shake too much, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at that. Oh. 
See how fat it is. Another giant bluegill. It is. It is. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Number three. Oh. I know. This one's caught on. Actually, you're caught in two places front treble and back treble. You were not going to get away. This might be the biggest of my three bluegill. Let's see. Eight and a half inches. Ah, awesome. Oh, look at that. Nice bluegill. A little damage, but still beautiful. Yeah. Oh, God. Feels like another... Ah, bluegill. Put up such a good fight. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Okay. This is how you're stuck at the bottom of your mouth. You're not the biggest. You're actually a little smaller than my last one. Mmm. Love it. Four bluegill using this crankbait. Thank you, cats. Thank you for choosing the right lure for me today. Let's get another bluegill. The nice thing about using small lures when you're going... Oh! Right there! <laughs> right there! Yeah. Bluegill? Bluegill? Oh no. White perch. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got you free. Oh, no. Feels like white perch or bluegill. Yeah, it's a white perch. I am surprised by the success I'm getting using this fairly big crankbait to catch panfish. I am surprised. Pleasantly surprised. That's the medium. That is a beauty. Yep. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. My video of my cats choose the lure I used today to catch bluegill. They chose this one, the Begley square bill. Turned out to be a, a pretty good lure to catch some nice sized bluegill. I'd say the key to success using this lure to catch bluegill is to retrieve very slowly and also cast along weed lines where the bluegill like to hide under. I'd like to thank my cats again for choosing the right lure for me today. And thanks everybody for watching. Please subscribe, please like if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time on my Outdoor and Nature channel. Okay, I filled up the box. You wanna check it out? Yeah, a full arsenal. Got my crankbaits up here, hooks on this level, and my senkos at the bottom, curly tail grubs, and at the top, miscellaneous stuff, jig heads. Looking good, feel more organized now. Then I figured what I can use for this top latch here. Some pumpkin ale. Oh, just kidding couple of power bars to keep you fishing all day. Okay, there you go. Happy fishing, everybody.